This is the morning that we're gathered together to bring some bright university students together with some highly progressive energy organizations, high energy organizations for an empowering experience this summer and I know you are looking forward to it. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the launch of Project eDrive's Summer Internship Program 2023. So, it is my very great pleasure, without further ado, to take us into the program. I'm going to ask Colleen Palmer Wright to step right up and give us an overview of the project that we are about to participate in. It's my pleasure to be here this morning. Um, it really is my pleasure to have the interns here and to Sir Steve. Welcome again, sir, to JPS. And thank you so much for being here this morning and to the rest of my JPS family and my partners. Thank you so much for coming. So Audrey says I'm going to give you a little bit about the what's going to happen here. I really had something planned to give you a little bit more about the project, but I'm almost sure that everybody in this room today knows what Project eDrive is. My interns, right? Let's hear that again. Oh, because if you don't know after last week, Friday, we have some problems, eh? Okay, good. But in a nutshell, Project eDrive is a collaboration between JPS and the IDB Lab. It's a project that we started some three years ago. And what we're really trying to do is to support the government in meeting their national goals as it relates to climate change. And so, the primary aim of Project eDrive is to create an enabling environment for a sustainable electric e-mobility ecosystem, and it emphasizes capacity building, training, the creation of opportunities for small and medium enterprises and their employees in the EV value chain. And so I'm sure you can see why the inclusion of an internship program is a key part of this project. The project has three components. Comp component one focuses on market sensitization, public awareness and knowledge management. Component two on innovative technology and finance. And component three on capacity building and training. We promise our interns that over the next four to six weeks, you will have an enriching opportunity and we look forward to hearing about your experiences. For us at eDrive, it has been an exciting opportunity thus far to support the development of the e-mobility ecosystem in support of our national goals to reduce the impacts of climate change. I thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Winsome. Now, as I listened to Colleen just now, I, I got also excited because it's like I'm hearing about eDrive all over again. As excited today as I was in 2020 when the IDB lab chose the JPS Foundation as the executing unit agency for this project. At the time, we didn't call it eDrive, we called it a really long name, uh, Building a Sustainable Electric Mobility Ecosystem for Inclusion and Access. Now you see why we have to change it, the e-drive. So we, we really have come a long way. We've done a lot in the two years, as you've heard from Colleen. And today, we are about to do a lot more. I mean, today, this is a major, major milestone, ladies and gentlemen. And you get to be a part of history, a big part of history, guys. Without the interns, this wouldn't be happening. We wouldn't even be here. But without our partners, we could not have this kind of internship program for electric mobility. And so I want to join uh, Colleen in saying thanks to all of those who are collaborating with us, because this is what eDrive is about. eDrive is not about JPS, it's not about a JPS foundation, it's about electric mobility in Jamaica. And trust me, it needs everyone to make this happen. We need the training agencies, 
We need the transport operators, we need the government, and we need you, our partners. So thank you so very much for being a part of this. And in terms, I'll be watching you. You're a part of history. Make this count. So this morning, we have 21 interns. And you're from all the tertiary institutions that we could find you from. Uh, since 2016, the objectives of the internship program at JPS included attracting and developing the best talent in Jamaica. So what are you? The best talent in Jamaica. Providing valuable work experience and a practical learning and growth environment, as well as helping our interns to develop professional and marketable skills. So you will be marketable and professional once you go through this entire four to six week program. When the original engineering internship program was conceptualized, what we're about to embark on today was definitely not a part of the project plan. So I look back at what we had scoped and know it was nowhere there. To think that seven years later, the program has evolved into this new arena is nothing short of amazing. Today, the eDrive Summer Internship, through the hard work and coordination of the JPS Foundation, is diversifying the base internship program by collaborating with our partners. And Colleen gave you a list of all our partners who are engaged. And this is to engage young engineers in moving the country forward into this new e-space which is the way of the future, and as Winsom said, a cleaner space. We have also had very passionate leadership mentors within JPS, because we're also involved in this, who clamor for a chance to guide the interns and impart knowledge, as well as learn from our interns. You can ask Marsha Gay Wallace, who has oversight of our annual internship program, and who worked with the foundation to get our interns on board, and Liz before her. We have to tear them away, and Ricky can t attest, from the various departments when it's time for a new rotation. And that's the internal rotation that we do when we have our annual internship. This time around, with the interns working with our partners in other spaces as well, I'm sure you'll have a fruitful experience and leave your mark wherever it is you have been placed. Interns, enjoy the experience, make the most of it, make it memorable. I think it's probably worthwhile and instructive to give you a little background. I was the former CEO of the grid operator in California, the grid and market operator in California. And I saw the evolving energy tapestry in California and as it unfolded. And I want to tell you a little bit about that story and why it's so important. First, uh, we're here about electric vehicles, but why are we interested in electric vehicles? We're interested in electric vehicles because of climate, because of economic progress, because of all the things it offers. Island is also interested in putting a significant amount of renewables on its system. And electric vehicles and renewables are actually partners. And let me spend a minute on that. An electric vehicle charged with a coal plant or an oil plant is, you've done nothing. So what we have to do is charge electric vehicles with renewables. In addition to that, we all know that renewables are intermittent. Electric vehicles can help with that intermittency, with the charging, with the other grid services that electric vehicles can provide. So it's a marriage made in heaven, and it's a partnership between renewables and electric vehicles that everybody has to know and embrace. Also, during this whole effort, there is great economic opportunity. Building renewables, great jobs, electricians and welders and structural people and everyone who can build the renewables on the system. And the infrastructure for electric vehicles, charging stations, and the tapestry that's associated with that. Those are all important economic engines that can happen here on this island. The vision I have, and I hope you'll share with me, is that Jamaica can be a beacon in the world 
for a clean environment, a high penetration of renewables, and great e-mobility. And let me say this, I would argue that Jamaica cannot afford to be left behind in this space. And I think we all need to embrace it and see us as someone who leads and is an example across the world for what can be done. My name is Mali McTavish, a graduate of the Caribbean Maritime University and a former JPS intern under the project Building a Sustainable Electric Mobility Ecosystem, BSEME for short. <laughs> so during my time at JPS, um, I developed some worthwhile skills such as working on my own initiative, teamwork, research and workplace communication. Whilst also getting the opportunity opportunity to contribute to the project by designing models on level two and level three electric vehicle charging stations and also drafting guidelines for the EV charging for EV charging at residential homes. So the JPS Foundation afforded me an opportunity to feel more connected to the field of my study. What I learned was not only related to the energy sector and solar chargers but also how to work with new people and also I took a note of how my supervisors at the time were very competent, efficient, knowledgeable, and were able to guide me when I wasn't sure of exactly what I was doing. So with that newfound knowledge, I've gone on to complete a short course in the fundamentals of project management and planning, and I'm currently, produ um, I'm currently pursuing a certificate in supervisory manage management. So to the new interns, I wish you guys an enjoyable and worthwhile experience during this project and I urge you guys to go the extra step in whatever capacity you are placed in and ensure that you exit the project having completed your objectives and having some takeaways that will power your lives.